It's called Super Aegis II, and it's one of the most advanced weapon systems ever built. Built by its manufacturers, Dodarm of South Korea, as a total security solution, the Super Aegis is an automated turret system that supports a variety of weapons, from a standard machine gun to a surface-to-air missile. It is designed to repel an attacker from up to three kilometers away, using sophisticated thermal imaging software and camera systems to lock onto a human-sized target, even in the dead of night. The system requires no human presence. It's all operated robotically from a distant control room. Dodarm Systems Vice President Park Sung Ho says the high-tech weapon could become an integral component in South Korea's ongoing military face-off with North Korea across the heavily armed demilitarized zone. We have a certain circumstance where North and South Korea are confronting each other and currently soldiers are operating a lot of military equipment. If the job can be replaced by non-human guarding and monitoring robots, it could reduce the number of labor forces and military forces. It could also reduce human losses under real combat situations. Super Aegis II detects objects with two cameras, a low-light camera and a thermal imaging camera which senses body temperature. A laser rangefinder and gyroscopic stabilizer keep the weapon steady in high winds. Super Aegis II Super Aegis II is a guarding, monitoring combat robot composed of a video part and a shooting part. The video part consists of a day and night color camera, thermal camera, and a laser rangefinder which measures the distance. The shooting part consists of a section that uses the incoming image from the video part to detect the object and to destroy it. It's not yet clear, though, whether the Super Aegis II will be deployed along the border. The 60-year-old armistice agreement between North and South Korea specifies limits for the weapons each side can point at one another. The supergun's presence may never be known, unless or until it starts firing. Tara Cleary, Reuters.